French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars in Europe were far-reaching. In the Caribbean, it led to Haiti's independence. Haiti, of course, was a prized French colony whose wealth came from its sugar plantations. And in many ways, the Haitian Revolution was inspired by the French Revolution. The slaves in the sugar plantations of Haiti demanded that universal rights be applied to them as well. And so starting in the early 1790s, Toussaint Louverture led the world's most successful slave rebellion, which eventually led to Haiti's independence from France in 1804. After French armies occupied Portugal, the Portuguese king and the entire royal family fled to Brazil. And the Portuguese king remained in Brazil until 1821 when he left his son, Pedro, to govern over a colony. And the following year, in 1822, Brazil declared independence with Pedro I as its first emperor. Now, this relative ease with which Brazil achieved independence was in great contrast to the long and bloody wars of independence in the Spanish colonies. The wars for independence in Spanish America were quite bloody and lasted nearly two decades. And during this time, trade in many areas was disrupted and this essentially ruined the economy of many areas. And even after independence, the transition from a monarchy to a constitutional republic was not very smooth. Many areas came under the control of Caudillos, who essentially governed through brute force. In South America, Simon Bolivar led many struggles for independence that eventually resulted in the creation of Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, and Bolivia. And after the independence of Argentina, Jose de San Martin led armies out of Argentina through Chile and into Peru. And eventually, the armies of Simon Bolivar and San Martin met in Peru. Unlike San Martin, who was a monarch, Simon Bolivar had envisioned the creation of a confederation of Latin American states. But in the end, local identities prevailed that led to the creation of new independent but unstable republics. So the end result of these long and bloody wars of independence in Spanish America was actually quite contradictory because it led to the triumph of a small group of wealthy elites who created political social and economic institutions to protect their interests at the expense of the majority of the population. And this was not very different from what had existed during colonial times. <laughs>